Hi. Yo, happy Friday, y'all. Like, I hope y'all are amped up and super happy to just end the week on hopefully a positive note. Um, okay, I just, I thought about something after a conversation I had with my narcissistic dad yesterday. He was calling to let me know that my uncle was um, out of hospice and he's going to die, right? That's neither here nor there. While talking to him, he was telling me about how, um, I know this is like out of left field, but it'll all make sense in the end. He was telling me about how he has this, he developed this, um, growth on his foot that looks like the bone had warped to protrude, like, to make his skin, like, kind of stick out of his foot. And I was like, damn, right? But my dad is married to that infamous supply, you know, the supply that I call the headquarters supply. Headquarters being every time they're out, the narc is out doing their dirt. Um, that w There's always that one supply that just will not give up, that really believes that they're going to be that one eventually. And every time the narc fails with another supply, they can always count on the headquarters supply, right? They can always go back there. And they know it because they can. They can always go back there, right? So my dad finally married the headquarters supply, right? This, this, she's gross too. She like looks gross and everything. But anyway, and so she, um, excuse me for a second. I had to scratch my nose. Um, okay. So... She waited three actual decades to finally get my dad to marry her, okay? And he did. Granted, um, he had two marriages on her, two separate children, you know, one children in, in well, not one child in each marriage. He actually... Uh, never married my, my older sister's mother, but he did marry another woman and he married that other woman after he divorced my mom, right? All the while, this same lady that is married to him now was in the, in the, waiting in the wings like a vulture watching all of these relationships and hoping that my dad would eventually notice her, right? The subject matter of this video is, is the other supply getting better than me? Let me answer that for you because I, I see a lot of comments, a lot of people in the comments really devastated and worried that their um, hopefully ex-narc is now with a new supply or an old faithful, good old, good old faithful, right? And that that person is getting better. I'm here to tell you, no, they're not. Okay? I have two separate stories that are both real from my life, right? That will help piggyback on that. So, first story. Yes, my dad is married to this, like, gross-ass um, vulture of a supply that waited three decades to find waited for his wife to die waited for divorces to go through waited for him to abandon both kids which would be me and my older sister i mean she was there for all of it right and he never fucking married this bitch until well his his last wife died but that's not why he married her he married her because he got sick right so basically just like her, would that back burner slash headquarters slash vulture ass supply that's been waiting in the wings and taking the narc back in between every relationship that they fail inevitably, right? What they're getting is not better than you. You, you were not, you, you didn't get less than what they're getting. Everybody gets the same treatment like shit. They get treated like shit that narcissist does not change i don't know i know in your head you're going they're probably out to dinner they're probably doing this they're probably doing that and i saw this on facebook and i saw this on that and i saw this on i don't give a fuck what you saw 
okay? They're not getting better. What they're getting is the same thing that that gross bitch that married my dad is getting. She's getting the leftovers. She's getting not just the leftovers. She's getting a doggy bag compiled of many different trash cans behind many different restaurants. What do I mean by that? He is, she's getting the leftovers from multiple relationship failures of his. She's getting whatever is left of him. And let me tell you what's left of him. What's left of him is he used to be attractive. He used to have really beautiful, like, green eyes. Now they're all, like, gray and old looking. And he used to have a lot of, like, beautiful, like, silky, curly, big, puffy, curly hair. Now he's bald. Um, he used to be thin and nice. Now he's fat. Well, he's not really, he's not fat. He was out of shape for some quite some time. He used to be healthy. Now he's a diabetic. Um, he just got over prostate cancer where they had to go into his ass and cut, cut a few things out, right? So he's probably not up to fucking as much or as good or as well as he, he once did, you know, when he was fucking everybody but her. Okay, and now he's talking about how he has some kind of weird ass bone growth coming out of his damn foot. And now she gets to help him deal with that. And all he could talk about the other day, other than my uncle dying, was, yeah, man, I just got to finish paying off my cremation arrangements or whatever. Like, I got to finish paying off my cremation, you know, whatever. He, he never talks about her. He's just talking about, like himself uh how i'm going to die and what i'm going to do after i die i gotta i gotta pay off my cremation thing he doesn't give a fuck about her she's literally just a warm body to lay next to so that he does not die alone because narcs are always scared of just being with themselves like they're so shitty they don't even want to be with themselves think about that right so anyway yeah the, that supply is usually not not a new supply. It's usually they always end up going, just like my ex narc did, going to that headquarters supply that is just always there in between all of their relationships, waiting like a vulture for them to all fail, hoping this time I'm going to be the one, I'm going to be the only one. Yeah, and they're not. And if they ever become the only one, it's because that narc came back too tired, too sick, after putting their bodies and souls literally through the ringer. They have fucked every everybody they could, which is... If you saw their track record, like, I'd hate to be God and be able to be omnipresent to see all the trash that they were doing. Like, that shit would just make a normal human with morals puke into their own lap right like yeah so basically what she's getting is the tail end of what is of his life what's become of his life at this point he's already banged everybody he's already married everybody he's already had you know his kids probably some that we don't even know about he's already run his body into the ground to the point where now something's growing out of his fucking foot and he's got a chunk cut out of his out of his prostate his prostate his anal whatever that's taken out he's got kidney problems and he's diabetic and now he's like okay you're good enough now for me to like crawl up next to you with my like tired fucked up uh, crib keeper body no 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 you can like have my attention because like i don't have much of that attention left according to me i'm probably gonna die soon anyway i just i just need a warm pillow with a soul in it to die next to for my own gain. That's what they are getting. They're not getting anything better. They're getting what's left over. They're not even getting what's left over. Whatever after the trash man dumps those giant dumpsters outside of like community homes, like apartment buildings and shit, there's probably sludge and juices and shit left at the bottom of that trash. They're getting someone taking a pallet knife and scraping that shit off the bottom of that trash can putting that shit in a bowl for them and being like, here you go, now you can eat. And they're like slopping it up like, I'm so glad, I was really hungry, I was waiting for this trash, I was waiting for this slop. Pigs love slop. Right? And so that's what that supply is getting. 
I know you think there's this awesome shit going on because it's in your head. I mean, you know, you're awesome and you'd be doing that shit, right? But that's not what's going on with them. What's going on with them is they're usually sick by the time they crawl back to that old ass supply that never seems to get the hint. And that supply is basically taking care of them and their medical issues, if not taking on their medical issues in their own bodies. For instance, now we can go to my ex narc. He went back to his headquarters supply, which of course in my other, other videos, if you've watched them, turned out to be a fucking dude that he was posing off as his best friend, right? So he went back to his secret gay lover and guess what that secret gay lover got for being that headquarters back burner ass supply? He got him back. Yeah, he got him to himself, kind of, because they're both still fucking a bunch of other people. But what he got when he got him back was a case of herpes um, in his asshole and in their mouths, literally. He got AIDS because that's what he came back with. And he got... All of his, like, uh, legal issues, which I'm sure he has a slew of them, and I'm sure that's not the end of the line for those. He got his run-down ass body. He got everybody has turned his ass all the way out, up, down, around the corner, up the sides, around the middle, in the back, front. And, and, and the whole circumference of that candle of his has been burnt up. He's got all of those things. He got them back, yeah. But he got him back really used up. Like, I mean, so used up. There is nothing you can do about that shit. You know what I'm saying? There is nothing you can do with that shit. So what is there to be jealous of? Who gives a fuck? Yeah, they got your narc, your ex-narc. Right? Yeah, sure, that person got them. But what state were they in when they got them? When I say state, do I mean out of town? No. Out of state? No. What was the condition of their body and their mind and their spirit when that person got them back? I'll tell you what that shit is. It was some motherfucking Stephen King Pet Cemetery shit. It was, oh, that's my cat. My cat's name is Church. I buried him because he got hit by a car. And he came back. And when he came back, he was all zombied up and fucked up. And shit was hanging off of him. And meat was hanging out of him. And this was happening to him. And he was hissing at me. And this shit was gross. And he smelled really bad. He kind of smelled like the inside of a casket that had been dug back up after 60 days and shit. That's what they got back. They got a pet cemetery version of your ex narc who the fuck in their right mind is going to be jealous of that definitely definitely not nobody on this crew nobody on this channel is going to be jealous of that we're way come on we're way too smart we're way too valuable okay so i just wanted to talk about that because I'm like dude you know when he was talking about that I was like she waited 30 years to get the remnants of a run down broken ass ran through ass everybody has fucked him everybody got a turn on that doorknob ass man if you can even call him a man at this point because I don't I, I, I kind of feel like I bet my dad probably has erectile dysfunction probably from all the ailments and surgeries and shit. Ain't nobody thinking about sticking anything. you just trying to figure out how not to fucking die at this point. So yeah, so she's not even getting the best in the sack, more than likely. She's getting nothing. She's getting, I guess, the prequel to a future nursing home situation. I don't know. But yeah, never be jealous of that. Be jealous of no one, number one, in general, any damn way. And never, never wreck your brain thinking about all these awesome things them and the other supplier are doing. Even if you saw a picture of them in Cancun or something. Like, oh, we just, we just went scuba diving with dolphins and shit, right? Yeah. But they forgot to mention the case, the mean case of AIDS that they went scuba diving with. 
or the fact that they both their 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 vaginas and penises look like it belonged under the sea because there were so many barnacles on it davy jones damn sure wouldn't invite that into his fucking locker room okay all right all right if, if your penis or your vagina looking like a whole octopus leg out this bitch Suction cups and smuction cups and barnacles and schmarnacles. Get the fuck out of here. Stop worrying about the other supply. Just know you dodged a bullet. And they openly accepted getting shot. Alright. I love y'all. I hope this helps somebody just lighten up and not worry so much about what that supply is getting. That supply is getting, I mean, whatever, whatever the narc came back as pet cemetery all right love you bye and have a good weekend all right